Hello, uh, my name is Wayne Chen. Uh, I'm a professor of aeronautics, astronautics, and materials engineering here at Purdue University. On my research side, I work on in experimental impact mechanics, so where we develop novel experimental techniques, uh, trying to explore how no new materials respond to impact loading. So to apply impact loading in my lab, we have a series of Mikulski bars uh, for intermediate strain rate experiments. And at high rate, we have gas guns, powder guns. At a lower rate, we have drop weight towers and uh, MTS machines. Uh, then on the characterization side, uh, we use uh, high-speed cameras. Uh, we have a couple of them, uh, 2 million frames per second and 10 million frames per second. Uh, we also use uh, high-speed x-ray uh, images. We take 5 million frames per second x-ray images to see through the material to see how they break up in real time, as well as we do in situ at the same time the uh, high-speed x-ray diffraction. So if you're interested in impact mechanics or dynamic behavior uh, of materials, occurs like it happened with the bird impact on engines, I'll be very happy to talk to you. Okay, so welcome to the Impact Science Lab at, uh, here at Purdue University. Uh, the main tool we use to generate impact loading is a device called the Kolsky Bar, which is a basically instrument hammer. Uh, we have the hammer operating in tension, compression, torsion conditions, and the combined tension, uh, compression, torsion, and also multi-axial compression. So we develop all these capabilities to, to explore the high rate behavior of materials uh, in, the, in, in different structures. Uh, the, here is a set of very small diameter Kolsky bars. Uh, we actually use these to explore the impact response of materials to very small size. The smallest one is uh, uh, spider silk. That's a three micron diameter, and we use these uh, equipment to characterize its impact response. Uh, later, we'll show you the larger uh, diameter one. So we work from a small things as small as a spider silk, larger as a concrete blocks, uh, soft as a very soft tissues, uh, to hard as a armor ceramics. So uh, we do impact, we study the impact response of the very wide spectrum of materials to explore how things break and how to develop better materials. So this is an example of a large size Kolsky bar. It has a diameter about 75 millimeters. So the bar becomes so heavy that it needs to be supported by air bearings so it can move freely while we characterize larger scale materials such as uh, concrete, uh, which would have a large aggregate inside and your sample size would be big. Uh, we also have the tension version and the compression version of these uh, large scale Kolsky bars. Well, in the lower impact velocities, uh, we have an equivalent as a draw weight tower where we drop a weight to hit, hit on the sample. Uh, most of the equipment here in the lab actually are built by my students right here at Purdue. Uh, this dropway tower is uh, an exception. We purchased from a commercial vendor. And right in front of them is a very small machine here. This one actually characterizes the transverse compression uh, behavior of very small fibers in order of uh, 10 micron diameters. So these are special uh, jigs designed and built by my students to do these uh, very challenging characterization uh, jobs. Okay, now uh, that we're in the, another part of the impact science uh, lab, uh, this is the basement of a Bowen laboratory at Purdue University, and where we have uh, equipment for higher speed impact on materials and structures. Uh, this is an example, it's a large diameter gas gun that we can shoot uh, tar projectiles up to 70 millimeter diameter and shoot out at the very high velocity. Yeah, so for to reach 
impact velocity higher than the gas gun range, uh, we use this uh, powder gun uh, where we use gun powders to drive the projectiles to go out. Uh, so this is the highest velocity uh, impact device that we have here in the lab. This is a very unique piece of Kolsky bar. Uh, in addition to axial compression, it can simulate the pressure environment at the pressure level about 10 miles underground uh, before you experience impact loading. So this is the only university-based uh, equipment uh, in the U.S. This is a unique piece of Kolsky bar equipment. It is uh, over 90 feet long or 30 meters long. Uh, we use this to do intermediate rate uh, experiments and uh, this is a unique piece uh, capability in the world. Uh, another unique uh, feature in this lab is if you see the corridor, uh, these are very long corridors separated by a very thick concrete wall and it's perfect for doing experimental impact mechanics research. And there's only a handful of these labs in this country and this, I think it's only one uh, that fit to do experimental impact research.